Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 21st, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with Daily Events Worldwide, looking at 304 angstroms right now. And we have one M-class solar flare departing as being the largest event the last 24 hours. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, you can see a big plasma prominence on the left-hand side lifting. Keeping an eye on that one as it will either destabilize, fall back in, or rip away like the last large one did. Outgoing imagery, lots of activity on the outgoing side of our sun. Lots of plasma filaments and connectivity between sunspots. Have a closer look at all these activities on the southeastern limb of our sun and as well the M-class solar flare being the largest solar event in the last 24-hour period. Right here, M-class solar flare. Having a look at multispectrum pointing out the biggest events of the 48 hours the last two days. Keeping an eye, as I said, on that large plasma filament. You can see it here under the blue light. You can also see the coronal hole regions, northern and southern. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, we can see just some amazing images of our sun Plasma loops jumping around, sunspots crackling, and as well, coronal hole regions cooling and developing amongst the nine sunspot regions on our sun. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected from the most recent M-class solar flare. Put us instant into instant radio blackout impacts. Solar winds are coming in at 395 kilometers per second right now. Definitely down from this last week. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see there, M-class solar flare minor at best. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity is at 2, KP2. Space Weather Prediction Center has not updated their most recent models, but we do have a CME expected into the 22nd and 23rd, so tomorrow and the day after. And there's that backside coronal mass ejection. ISPOS prediction spiral showing here the most recent CME taking off from our sun, most likely from the plasma filaments that are whipping around, but looks like it's heading underneath Earth as it was pointed in a southward direction. little yellow circle there is Earth. Having a look at LASCO 2, showing the last two days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. Backside CME, full halo. And as well, watching the bottom part of the imagery here, we do have Venus heading out of view, and as well, we have a sun-diving comet right here. Keep an eye on this region. The little sun-diver heading not uh, specifically into the sun, but definitely heading through the images here with LASCO 2. And as well, Venus. Now let's have a look at earthquakes for the past 24 hours. Still up above average a little bit, sitting at about 250 earthquakes according to USGS. Deepest being the 613 kilometer depth earthquake reported yesterday, but also notable there, 224 kilometer depth earthquake in Chile, as well notable earthquake there, Peru, and Ecuador, 5.2, Zama, Ecuador, as well a 4.3 there, Colombia. So lots of activity into the South American plate and Pacific right now, 
and as well up into the northeast Pacific, Juan de Fuca. Nothing major to report today, though. 4.5 there, Alaska. Notable earthquake here in a, the Pond Inlet in Canada, south of Greenland, north of Nunavut. 4.5 magnitude earthquake there, as well as Valbard. 4.1 magnitude and 4.2 magnitude here, Italy. Very notable earthquakes through that region. Vesuvius, Campi Flegri, Stromboli, and Etna. All monstrous volcanoes. Having a look across the Pacific Plate, largest being a 5.7 earthquake, Papua New Guinea. 5.4 earthquake there, Marianas Trench, and as well, notable earthquakes here off the coast of Japan. Heading up into the Eurasia Plate. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Still expecting something big here over the next two days. Timing is everything in as well, space weather events. So let's hope that our sun doesn't have any surprises for us with this large earth-facing sunspots. This is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Lots of activity up into the North Pole this week. And as well notable all across the Eurasia Plate. Now let's have a look at sulfur dioxide emissions showing our air quality. Lots of SO2 in South America. There might be some wildfires burning through there. Active volcanoes all through Central America. Notable SO2 coming out of the New Madrid, as you can see here in the parts of North America. Overlooking Africa. Southeast Asia and Russia. So this is all sulfur dioxide emissions from our planet. From the active interrupting 49 volcanoes across the planet. And there are literally thousands that are dormant and not erupting. Just saying. Now let's have a look at a world weather forecast here brought to you by Windy.com. Big low moving through this week into parts of eastern Canada. Watch for days upon days of severe weather breakouts. Had some nice storms roll through Ottawa today. And then later in the week here, net by Sunday, Saturday into Sunday, extreme weather forecasted here for central United States, Oklahoma into Kansas. And then watch as this system gets bigger, quite possibly joins with an Alberta clipper. And then watch for severe weather and strong winds all across the coast here as it joins forces and creates a monstrous storm for the East Coast. And that long-range forecast, extreme weather building for the Gulf states through Texas. Overlooking Europe and Africa. Low pressure system lingering around parts of Great Britain. United Kingdom. Other than that, no major systems affecting you the next few days. This is all showing the forecast rain for the next week, everybody. Still have some pretty intense weather heading up into Myanmar. Still forecasted here, but no cyclone forecasted. And then long-range forecast, some pretty strong systems moving out of China and up into Japan. And then watch this big system here. Scoot across New Zealand. Huge system south of Australia right now. And then lots of moisture heading for New Zealand. Now let's have a look at our upper level winds as I like to share here with nullschool.com. This is our upper level winds, 30,000 feet and higher. This here is depicting our southern polar vortex. This is what it looks like right now. Have a quick look around the world. 
take a quick moment to thank everybody for watching today. I hope you enjoy all the information and content shared. If you do, please don't forget to give a big old thumbs up. And if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate that. And much love to you all for wanting to stay aware, prepared in all the earthly events, weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and space weather. As it's all tied together, folks. Now, I do like to do a little comparison last year versus this year. So let's go back to 2023, May 21st. And this is what our upper level winds looked like at that time. Quite a big difference when you look at today's versus last year at this time. Big changes on our planet. Earth changes every day. Thank you for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.